Hey Taurus, it's Star again. I'm here to do your mid-month November reading from now through the end of the month uh, for 2017. And I already shuffled the cards here, but let me give it a quick shuffle. And we'll start off with your um, Romance Angel messages for this month for love and romance. So let's get started. First card we have is chemistry. So there is a strong magnetic attraction here to someone. Okay, and it's calling for you to trust the situation. You need to have faith here. Okay, this quickly came out. So there's a heart to heart conversation that needs to take place. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So. Yeah, you guys are going through some sort of relationship here where you just don't know where it's headed. You don't know where you stand with this person, I feel. Um, and there may have been also misunderstandings. Let's just pull a couple cards to clarify. Okay, first card here for chemistry, we have the Hermit. So this could be somebody that you're very attracted to, but you haven't been in contact with for a while. Um, I feel like either you or this person needed some space to kind of think about this relationship and what they really think about it. And what they think about it is that they, you guys have a very strong connection. Um, this could even be like a soulmate, uh, twin flame sort of connection. But I feel like it's taken either it's taken you or it's taking your partner a while to realize that they really do have feelings. And you need to trust that this person is going to eventually come forward and let you know what their feelings are. Um, I feel like it's been a while and you haven't heard from this person, so it's like you're losing hope. The next card we have is the King of Cups in the reverse. So you, could, you guys could be dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, you could also be dealing with a Virgo, but I'm getting very strong water sign here. Um, and I feel like this person's emotions are kind of all over the place. Maybe they feel a little bit vulnerable. They don't know if they should approach you. So there is a need here for you guys to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations and kind of talk about where you stand. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So... Somebody's going to let their guard down, either you or your partner are letting your guard down to be able to communicate. Or that's what needs to happen, is that you need to let your guard down. Don't be so, you know, protective to where it just impedes any sort of effective conversation. We also have the King of Wands here. So some of you could be dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or that... Um, this relationship could be just very passionate and somebody's ready to take action. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's get to your Celtic Cross love spread and see what other messages come forward. What do you guys have going on in your love lives these days? Let's see, we have the Nine of Wands. So there's that feeling of kind of needing to protect yourself, needing to create walls, barriers, or just, um, you know, kind of feeling tired with the way this relation, maybe it's just been a stressful relationship here. We have the Devil Reverse. So somebody released themselves from a relationship that could have been toxic, could have been codependent. Um, could, could even have addiction issues or it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with 
but I feel mostly that this relationship, you know, the reason that you feel tired, it was because it was sort of burdensome in the sense that there, there was some toxicity attached to it. Um, in your foundation, you have the justice reverse. So again, this could be a Libra, but what I'm getting here is that there, there was some sort of injustice. So either you felt slighted by, by this person, this partner, or vice versa. And that's why maybe you had to cut ties with them and you feel like there's somebody that you need to protect yourself against because there, there was some sort of injustice. You just felt that, you know, you were wronged one way or another or vice versa. So apply that however is reasonable. Okay, we have two cards here for the past. We have the High Priestess Reverse and we have the Magician. So I do feel like um, maybe you guys realized that this person that you were dealing with was sort of a manipulator a little bit he kind of uh, he or she manipulated situations to their benefit and um you, you found that out somehow again we have two cards okay so what's crowning you here okay we have the ace of swords reverse and the three of swords reverse so you may not be speaking to this person right now because you're you're healing a broken heart so i do get the sense you know like i was saying there was some sort of injustice here probably towards you guys is what i'm feeling mostly but for some of you it could be the opposite um and this person did have tendencies to be a manipulator and they broke your heart okay so this is why you're very hesitant and you're feeling very guarded with regards to communicating with them Okay, in the near future here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So that's you guys feeling confident. <clears throat> Maybe you're gaining the confidence to have uh, contact with this person again, but you're fine the way you are. I, I don't feel like you're um, definitely not needy in any way because that, that's not a card of being needy. That's a card of being very confident and independent, um, happy with, them, with yourself, uh, and feeling very abundant as well. Okay, so how you see yourself is the full reverse. So this is not a situation where you're really kind of, um, you're just not willing to take any chances right now because of the stuff that you have been through. It's like you don't want to go back there again. How your partner is seeing you is the four of pentacles reverse. So maybe they feel like you've already let them go. Okay, hopes or fears is the Ten of Pentacles. So you, what you really want is a long-term relationship, Taurus. You're not looking to fool around, okay? You don't want to take chances on someone who uh, could be lying, manipula manipulating, or causing you any kind of stress or heartbreak. What you want is someone who's going to really, you know, seal the deal and, and commit and um, work towards a long-term union. In the overall outcome, we have the Page of Swords reversed. So there could be someone either spying in the situation. Um, there could be some lies, perhaps, being discovered. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant reverse. So that's your card, Taurus. Um, maybe you're just not feeling too good about this situation. You're not feeling yourself. We have the Knight of Cups reverse right behind it and the queen of swords reverse so yeah um i just get the feeling like you're not really entertaining any kind of bullshit <laughs> is what i'm really getting it's like if it doesn't smell right to you you're just not gonna you're just gonna walk the other way okay but i do feel like coming up here there there will be a, um <clears throat> the time when there will decisions will need to be made okay we have the two of wands the lovers and the two of pentacles all of which um, have something to do with either making a choice making a decision weighing your options and it looks like you could be weighing your options on whether or not you want to invest in this new love okay because there's something that's going to happen here with the tower that's going to shock you Okay, there's going to be some sort of surprise. There's a surprise element here. 
So let's clarify. Um, let me see the devil reverse. Why is the devil reverse here? Okay, we have the Hierophant reverse. So yeah, I do feel like it was you guys who um, released yourself from this relationship. From uh, Or maybe, you know, the other person may have walked away from you, but I feel like you guys um, within yourselves have released yourself as far as being aware of the toxicity that was involved in the situation and consciously making a choice not to go back to that sort of relationship. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you won't go back to this person, to your partner, um, but it does mean that you are, you're going to call them out on their BS and you're going to know, you know, as soon as you see those signs of them lying or manipulating again, I feel like you're out. Let me just get one more card on the double reverse. Okay, the, oh, we got two. The King of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. So, yeah. Um, oh, hold on a second. My, my battery is running well. My, hold on. My cable is probably not plugged in, so let me just fix that real quick. Excuse me. Oh. That's better. All right, sorry about that. So, like I was saying, your emotions um, could have been all over the place because of this person. I'm feeling like uh, a lot of you were dealing with either water signs or air signs, or they could have either one in, in their chart. Um, I just feel like you realize that this person could not be in your life and cause you the emotional turmoil that they did. Let me see what this injustice was here with the justice reverse and the foundation. Okay, whatever it was, it made you really unhappy with the sun reverse. Could also be that it caused a lot of confusion in your life. Um, I, I, I'm feeling like you lost your confidence. There was so much confusion. You lost your confidence. Like you didn't feel like you were worth anything. We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So this is a situation that's been stagnant for a long time, I feel. It just hasn't been moving along. You don't have any idea what happened, why. Um, I just get the feeling you guys don't really know the details of it. Let me see the past here with the Magician and the High Priestess reverse together. Magician and High Priestess reverse together. What is this about here for Taurus? The moon so yeah there there was some manipulation just things that you didn't see that went on behind the scenes that you didn't know about um, and I feel like they were discovered okay and somebody dropped those burdens here in the past with the ten of wands reverse so let me take a look at what's crowning you here with the three of swords reverse and the ace of swords reverse yeah I feel like you guys are just um, very hesitant to communicate with this person again because you're afraid that you're going to go back to the same patterns and, you know, just get more of the same crap, basically. Okay, so here in the near future, you're, you're coming up as the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see. Okay, Four of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are feeling very good about yourself. You're finally feeling stable again. You're feeling grounded. You feel like you have your stuff together. And you've made a decision. I feel like that decision is, you know, moving past this. The decision is you chose to be happy. You chose to be um, yourself again. You know, I feel like you may have been in a funk for a while and, and here in the near future, you're choosing to just detach yourself and, and you know, just kind of um, be, be at home, be where you feel safe and abundant and loved and cared for. Because here, how you see yourself is the full reverse. So like I was saying, it's like you don't want to take any risks anymore. I feel like you're tired of waiting for things to change. Um, you feel frustrated 
and it's like you really don't want to have to you're just not interested in taking a leap of faith with this person anymore because here you're coming up as the four of pentacles upright which is interesting because your partner is seeing you as the four of pentacles reverse so they're thinking the opposite of how you actually feel you're actually very guarded um, frustrated with this partner and you don't really want to take a chance on them anymore and they're thinking maybe that either you let them go or that your guard is down maybe they feel like they can get away with whatever they want let's see okay we have this nine of swords And the Knight of Wands. Hmm. You know, I feel like your partner kind of thinks that you guys are only interested in, in sort of casual relationships. Or a casual relationship with them, I should say. Um... Because I feel like they know that they messed up in the past. And I feel like the, the, the way they see it is that the only way that you will be around them is if there is like no commitment. You know, it's like, I don't, I, I, I think they know that you see them as not being very valuable as far as having a relationship with them because they're not, you don't see them as being reliable. So it's like they kind of know that you're on to them, that, you know, maybe they're a player type of person. So your hopes or fears, we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Cups reverse. So I do feel like, you know, kind of along the lines of what I was just saying, it's like you're hoping for... What you want is a long-term relationship that you can count on that's very stable. But you don't see that in this relationship that I'm reading for here. Okay? Um, I just feel like too much has happened and you just don't have faith in it anymore. Okay, so your overall outcome is the Page of Swords Reverse. Clarified by the Ten of Pentacles Reverse. And the Five of Cups reverse. Um, you guys might have communication with this partner. Um, I don't know that it's going to go too well. I feel like there there may be not huge arguments, but there may be words said, you know, to the effect of. Uh, I just don't see this having a future, you know, maybe this person's wanting to come back and, and start something up with you here in the future. And I, I just don't think you guys are going to go for it. But what I do see is that you at least having the conversation will help you get over the heartbreak. Okay. Um, I think talking to this person again, you're going to be able to see clearly that they need to just need to be cut out of your life. It's not um, a relationship that's going to go long term. Now, I'm not saying that you guys are not going to be friends or you're not going to talk at all. I just feel like this last conversation or not the last conversation, but the conversation, the heart to heart conversation that you're going to have with this person is going to allow you to heal and see what it is that you really want and what it is that you really don't want with this person. Okay, and I feel like you're going to you're going to realize that this person really doesn't have the long-term potential that you're really seeking. Okay? So I do feel that you should have the conversation because again, it's going to be like a cathartic experience for you. Um and it's going to do more more good than, than anything else. Now, it might not be the most pleasant conversation, but I kind of feel like 
the unpleasantness is going to be felt more by your partner as opposed to by you, if that makes you feel any better. So there's that. All right, so let's move on to your general reading and see what's going on there. Okay. We'll do an nine card past present future okay and we have the princess of cups six of cups okay two water cards so a lot of emotion here um, I see a lot of happiness here with someone and we have the four of cups okay so like I said a lot of water energy you guys could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, I do feel like um, this is somebody that you knew from the past. You had past ties with. Not just from the past within this lifetime, but it could be, again, a twin flame, soulmate, sort of uh, karmic relationship. Um, and there was definitely affection there. You, you had feelings for this person. But there was an element of dissatisfaction. So... How whatever the situation was there, you weren't satisfied with. You were always craving more. In the present, we have the Two of Pentacles. So there's an element here of change. Change is coming about. Um, you're trying to weigh things out. You're trying to balance your life through some sort of change that is happening. Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, I feel like something is changing here with regards to someone now is putting effort into something uh, where previously they were not putting effort. Okay, and we have another water card, Queen of Cups here. So we went, in the past, we went from the Princess of Cups to now the Queen of Cups, So, which tells me that, to me, feelings have grown. Someone has weighed their options and put some effort into acknowledging these feelings, and the feelings have grown, or they've acknowledged that they feel more than they actually thought they did. In the future, we have the death card. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or there's an ending coming, an ending or a complete transformation to something. And it's right below the two of pentacles, which tells me that it's more about change than endings. But we'll see what else comes up here. we have the star so the star is like a wish coming true I do feel like there were emotions here in the past and maybe you wished for this relationship to be more than what it was because that's what this tells me you know this is someone here sitting there um, not that they're not happy okay but there is that element of what if you know, what if I could have this? Or what if, what if I could have that other cup? Because the person here is holding three cups. And it's kind of small, so yeah, I don't think you guys could see it. But there is that one little tiny cup here that the person's still wondering about. I'm feeling, I'm getting the feeling that somebody wasn't putting effort into it, and now they are. There was a major change there, and it's making someone's wishes come true. I wish I could read this some other way, but there's just so much water here and emotion that this is definitely a love reading. 
Okay, last card, we have the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody is putting in effort. I feel like there's going to be an attempt to build something, to work at a relationship, because this is something that you've wanted for a while. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So the Empress is all about nurturing something into existence, into, sorry, into existence, the birth of something new. So this could be the birth of a new relationship. Okay, we have the King of Wands, so someone's taking some passionate action. I feel like someone does have um, intentions for to build this into something more long term. Let me pull a couple of clarifiers. Let me just see what this changes here with the two of pentacles. Oops. Okay, we got the two of pentacles again. And the five of wands reverse. So um, you guys may have had some conflict with this person, with your partner. There, there was some conflict or some external interference. And I feel like that is no longer the case. Or this person is trying to change the conflict and... Um, you know, just start fresh. They're putting in effort. Somebody's putting in effort here. Knight of Cups reverse. So again, it could be that water sign that we were talking about. Okay. And the Nine of Wands. So I feel like in the past, this person, the affection was there. The love was there. The emotion was there. But they were not willing to extend an offer because they were protecting themselves or maybe protecting you even from things around them. It's just like it wasn't probably just wasn't the right timing. Um, but I feel like now they're getting ready to make that effort to get something back from the situation. Let me see this Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups about? The Star Reverse. So... Someone is kind of feeling pessimistic about this, not knowing, you know, if this is going to work out. Oh. And we have the Queen of Wands reverse. So, yeah, that, that's like a lack of confidence to me. So someone is second guessing. They want to offer this love. They have this love, but they think that maybe they're going to be turned down. Let me see what the death is about. Queen of Swords reverse and the Devil reverse. So I do feel like there was an ending to a relationship, but I don't. This is in the future. And then we have the Star card and the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Let me pull a couple here on the star card. Okay, we have temperance reverse. And the four of swords reverse. Okay. You know, for some of you, I feel like um, this partner may have already have had someone else. And that's why they weren't putting in the effort. But I feel like that relationship has ended. Okay, they, they someone needed to be cut out from here, from this situation in order for them to be able to move on with you. Or to take steps towards moving forward with you. Or vice versa, this could be you guys. Um, and I feel like there, there had to be some healing here. There, I feel like someone is looking at this relationship like, oh, this is, you know, my next chance at, at love because something ended. Either you guys went through a breakup or actually this is in the future. So 
it's like you guys are going to completely cut somebody out of your life and a relationship and then you're going to find your optimism or your your wishes fulfilled somewhere else once you know you heal there there needs to be a healing here this could also be again with somebody's somebody had a, a, uh, an ending to a relationship and I feel like once they heal, they're going to come forward towards you. Okay, and, and that's where I get here, the Three of Pentacles. So I don't know if you guys, some of you are involved in like, not just like three-way situations, but like four-way. Maybe you guys are also partnered. Um, because I feel like it still continues to be a third party. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Emperor Reverse. And the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel like someone is letting go of control. Maybe they were... I feel like someone was really holding back on their emotions. Kind of um, denying their feelings. And... In order for this to be able to move forward, I feel like they've realized that they're going to need to let go of the control. They're going to need to just accept that there are emotions there. There is love there in order to have a chance to make this work. Okay, so we had two love readings here again, guys. Okay, um, that's what I've got for you. Let me know if it resonates. This spread was a little bit different than the other, so I'm hoping that, you know, if, if the first one didn't resonate, that this one did for you guys, but they are still very similar. I just keep getting that Tauruses are, a lot of you guys are involved with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So, thank you guys for listening, um, and I'll see you here for your December readings already. Jeez, end of month. So, um... If you guys are interested in a private reading, you can email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.